1986 football yearbook. Continuing to build the Iowa tradition. This year at the University of Iowa, we have a big rebuilding job in that we have to replace 19 outstanding football players. Probably the most critical position being quarterback where Chuck Long was an All-American. We have to replace Larry Station and linebacker, both wide receivers, and the running back, Ronnie Harmon, another All-American. So uh, we'll be down a little bit from the championship year we experienced last year, but I think by mid-season we'll be right back in the thick of the race. Operations begin. The 1986 football season is approaching. It is 11 football games spanning three autumn months. For the Hawkeyes of Iowa, it means preparing for the toughest conference of the nation, the Big Ten. When the 1986 season began, the defending Big Ten champions were faced with the tall task of rebuilding what had been one of the great teams in the history of Hawkeye football. And while the challenge was great, so was the determination of head coach Hayden Fry and the scrappy group of Hawkeyes. A team that would go on to become one of the true surprises of the 1986 football season. Coach Fry comments on his 1986 Hawkeye squad. Well, our key players this year will be the development of Mark Velocic at quarterback. A big, strong quarterback, uh, extremely strong arm, very knowledgeable. He's been standing on the sideline with me for four years just waiting an opportunity to play. He could become outstanding. Uh, Jeff Dross at the defensive line, 6'6", 295, is a great football player. And Dave Croston on the offensive line, 6'6", 285, is one of the finest blockers in college football. So those guys will be the people we'll build around. <laughs> 